Yeah, when uh, when I got first got scouted, it was in October, and um, I went in for an interview, and they said, um, you know, like, great, they took all my measurements. They're like, if this was, you know, five years ago, we'd send you on a plane to Paris tomorrow. And I was like, oh, sweet. He's like, but it's not five years ago. Yeah. And now it's a little bit more of an athletic type. So we want you to just go, you know, hit the gym. It's October. Hit the gym and uh, come back in, like, you know, mid-November and we'll uh, check your measurement. We want you to put, like, three inches on your chest and, like, you know, like two inches on your biceps and, and whatnot, you know? Sort of a hassle sometimes when you're when you don't have that that driving motivation to go to the gym yeah. to get there. And I always you know I always sit there being like, man, I wish I could just like be one of those guys who's like jacked and goes to the gym all the time. But you know you never have the motivation to really do it. Mm -hmm. So now when I had like an agency behind me pushing me to do it, I had the motivation to do it. But I knew I wouldn't be able to go in November because my band was touring all of November. And then they said that it's really slow in December, so come back in January. So I was like, okay. So I went to the gym for the next like four months and just like worked out like four, three, like three, five times a week, and just have, had a personal trainer and and just kept kept giving her and giving her. And some people might take offense to it, you know. I love my body. I'm not changing for you, blah blah blah. But for me, I, you know, I'd always welcomed the encouragement to go to the gym. You know, I'd always be sitting at home being like, man, I wish I had the motivation to go. You know, sometimes it just takes a motivating factor to go. And I always played sports and stuff, so it's not like I was ever like, you know, just sitting eating like McDonald's every day or something, but I, uh, it, it was great, you know, I welcomed it and it, get, it got me in a routine, which, you know, you know, once in a while you slack on it, but, you know, it gets you into a good routine and, it, you know, you feel great. I did some measurements and I, and I, I put on all the, the weight and the muscle that I needed and then I went and got like a nice, my hair was really long and I went and got this nice slick like $85 haircut from like a hip Queen West boutique. And then I went in on uh, like January 3rd, and they're like, perfect, you know, your, your measurements are all great. Uh, we just got to wait for your hair to grow now because we need long hair to mold ourselves. And I like literally like two days before I just got this really like asymmetrical haircut and all this crap. So they're like, come back, you know, keep going to the gym and come back, you know, February, you know, once your hair grows a bit. So I had to go, I just had to wait around like a bum for a month. Let my hair grow. Luckily, my hair grows like abnormally fast. And uh, came back in February, and they're like, you know, tip top. It was great. You know, signed the contract, and it was, you know, it was great from there. But it was ridiculous. You know, spent all this money on a slick haircut, and just to have them say, just wait for that hair to grow back. Punch in the face. Yeah, it was. It was funny.